Some of you will be asking, why use a K20? There's a variety of pistons that you could use. You could use a J30 also. I've seen some guy. I'm not sure if the camera can pick up those cross hatches is still on there. Just a little bit, I could still see it. But really, the cylinder is almost glazed up, almost like a polished mirror now. But today's episode, I'm going to uh, do a few passes with a honing stone. This one right here. I don't do this a lot. Remember, uh, some of my, the blocks that I have, I got it, uh, I got it oversized and then I have it re-sleeve. I only did this one time. That was on my first Frankenstein build, which is the uh, H23A1 that has a FRM sleeve on it. Yeah, I was so scared to, uh, to use that stone. At the time, I didn't know that I'm not supposed to use a honing stone for uh, H22 or H23A1, the block that has a FRM sleeves. Yeah, I went downtown with it. <laughs> and at the end, I was trying out the piston. It's too loose. Yeah, I went downtown with it. I went too much. Anyway, I got the block uh, sent to a machine shop and they properly uh, oversized it for me. Uh, 50,000, I think. When I picked up my block, the, the guy at the counter told me that uh, it takes some specialty machine shop to have that thing rebore to the size that I wanted. But they did it anyway, and so the, this is more like my second time. So hopefully I can do a good job on this one. Yeah, it only requires just a few passes. If you're ever going to do this, don't be scared. <laughs> yeah, it's either you oversize it or you do a good job. One of the two. That cardboard that you see inside, that's not my idea. I, I saw that from someone that long time before. It's to prevent me from going all the way down and hit the, uh, the divider. And if I accidentally went all the way within that area, I might break my stone and that's not a good idea. I'm gonna spray some WD-40 also on the cylinder. And also I put some marker for myself. Hopefully I won't go past that. And I have to constantly move up and down, up and down. Let's check. Looks like I'm making it dull now. Look at the difference. I'll do a few more passes.
think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good. My idea here is not to remove some material. It's just nothing but get rid of that uh, dull surface. So it looks all right, huh? <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm going to use an uh, automatic transmission fluid to wipe or oil the cylinder. Yeah, transmission fluid works pretty good. When it comes to uh, cleaning the cylinder walls. I'm going to show you how I check my piston to wall clearance. I should be doing this in paper. But since uh, I didn't send this one to a machine shop, if you are starting fresh, everything is brand new, remanufactured. That's when you should do a blueprint. Really get down in there and write it down. But something like this, this build right here, I did a quick check and I know it's good. This will do. Let's check out how much the uh, the skirt. Zero. It's 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.
86 or 85 I'll call it 85 and I think I'm getting 87 on this one so I'm getting what 2,000 and my filler gauge only goes down to 2,000 hopefully it's going be good Quick check for piston to all clearance other than getting all the numbers is to put your piston upside down together with your feeler gauge. And if it goes out or you are able to pull it out, meaning it's good. There. Again it down like so yeah I got a 2,000 uh, piston to all clearance there this one is a little bit too tight that one's good this one's too tight so this one is uh, I say one and a half this one is 2,000 I guess my piston to wall clearance didn't turn out to be as bad, it's still within serviceable limits. And I do have a service manual here, which is this is for F22A1, H23A1, and H22A1. They pretty much like share the same numbers. There is the serviceable limit, service limit, 2000, right there. F22A1, it's the same thing, 2000. And I was getting 2,000 piston to wall clearance with this bad boy. The reason why I picked this one, remember I told you guys that uh, there's three pistons for a K20. That will give you a three different uh, comp ratio if you wish. This happens to be USDM setup right here. And this one will give me 11.5 to 1 comp ratio. The other two piston will give you a much more higher comp ratio higher than this one why I picked this one the lowest of the three reliability yes I like to uh, <laughs> I like to enjoy the motor yeah I don't want something that uh, a few passes here a few passes there and then it breaks with that one, yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be safe, especially using a 9 to 1 pump gas. So that's the reason why. But it's all up to you. Talk about the relief. The reason why we are using a K20 piston, it's because of, everyone knows when you put this piston on a F23 block, you have to put it the other way around, meaning backwards. The intake side will be facing the exhaust side. And the exhaust relief will be facing the intake. Someone made a discovery of using this a long time ago. This is a H22 piston. I'm going to put it side by side. Like so. He learned to find out that the relief angle is the same. It's almost similar to a H22 which is perfect candidate to use an H22 cylinder head so you can get away with putting this thing backwards that's the reason why how much is that like 24 21 yeah it's almost similar and if you look at it right there is
You guys see it? Yeah, that's the reason. So now you know a little bit of why we are using a K20 piston. And also, this will give you a much higher compression ratio. That is why. Which is perfect for this build. Performance is what we are after on this block. Reliability is always next. But I'm trying to build both at the same time. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys back. Stay tuned. Uh, what's next? I think water pump will be next. I just got done with the... Uh, Deleting the balance shaft, honing the cylinder walls, that's good enough for me. My idea was not to remove a lot of materials, only get rid of the glazing. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys back. Bye everyone. Bye bye.